What's good YouTube, it's Adam from Island Music Mogul and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're gonna go ahead and remake From Scratch type shit by Metro Boomin, Future, featuring Travis Scott and Playboy Cardi. Sample for this one is 145 beats per minute type shit and the track is produced by Metro Boomin, D Rich, and Mike Dean type shit. We're gonna kick things off with the two little bells type shit. So we're gonna go over to our library browser here. We're gonna go down to Legacy, Logic, We'll go over down to orchestral. We'll go to tune percussion. And we'll bring in the tubular bells type shit. And we're gonna start off with that, but we'll adjust the sound in a moment type shit. I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate that over. I'm just going to make these notes a little bit softer. Right, so now we got to get to some sound design type shit. And the first thing we're going to do is just lower down the sustain. Just because it's a little bit too ringing out type shit. And we'll lower the release as well. Now we control the ring and out type shit. Now we're just gonna bring in EQ because there's an annoying sort of frequency that I keep hearing type shit. So we're gonna go over to our channel EQ and we're just gonna find where that is. I think it's around like the thousand mark here. So I'm gonna just pitch up here, give myself a like a really tight, uh, tight notch. So you see how that rings out? We're gonna go ahead and just bring, whoa. We're gonna go ahead and just bring that down quite a lot type shit. So if we go ahead and A, B that type shit, you'll hear how sort of resonant that is and it's really annoying. On. That just cleans it up a whole lot type shit. Now we're gonna go ahead and layer this bell with another bell sound, more of like a traditional trap bell sound. Okay, new softer instrument track. And we're gonna bring in Logic's Alchemy type shit. And we're gonna look up a preset. I'm just gonna search it in type shit because it's easier. We're gonna type in analog bells. So it's this 80s analog bells right here. We're gonna copy down the same pattern type shit. And let's just take this out. We'll leave it at four bars type shit. I'm just gonna pitch this up two octaves type shit. Now all we gotta do is open up alchemy and just the cutoff. So we'll open up alchemy type shit and we're gonna go over to the cutoff right here. Make it a little bit darker and we'll pull in some reverb as well. What we gotta do is just mix it in really sort of subtly type shit. We're gonna group both tracks together. We're gonna add in some effects on both of those tracks as a whole. So the first thing we're gonna do is just bring in a little bit of chorus to soften this up. We'll go to modulation chorus. down the mix a little bit. And then we're gonna bring in some reverb. We'll go to Logic's Chroma Verb. All right, next let's bring in the drums type shit. So we're gonna go over to our library browser here. I'm gonna bring in the drum kit that I dropped for this album, the We Don't Trust You Deconstructed Kit. And we're gonna go by, organized by track list. And we'll go to type shit, go one by one here. Maybe it'll be a little bit easier. We'll go to drum machine designer. We'll start off with the hi-hat. So what we're gonna do here is just do an eighth pattern and take out this last one right here. Let's bring in the snare type shit. And we're just gonna drop it in on the three, nothing too crazy. Let's bring in that classic Metro Boomin' Vox type shit.
All right, next let's go ahead and bring in, let's bring in the long open hap type shit. We'll bring that in here. And all we gotta do is just put it on the one. And we're just gonna stretch it out to 32 steps. And we're gonna go from the one to the four here. Let's bring the second open hat type shit. Go to 32 steps and put it on the four. All right, then we gotta bring in the triangle type shit. Bring that into our drum machine designer type shit. And uh, I'm just gonna put it on the snare, but on the second hit. And last but not least, let's bring the 808 type shit. Next, let's duplicate this over and bring in the synth. So we're gonna copy this over type shit and we're gonna bring in, once again, a new software instrument track and we'll bring in Logic's Alchemy. We're gonna go over to the preset, we'll switch it up again because it's easier type shit. And we'll just call, it's called Liquid Bells, I think it was called. Uh, sorry, Liquid Wires it was called. So we're gonna bring that in right here and let's draw in that pattern. Second one, we just gotta bring it up one note. All right, now let's bring in some effects just to soften it up. Go over to Logic's chorus type shit, and we'll go over to a preset. Kind of soften up a bit. Let's bring in some reverb as well. Let's get to the next part. We're gonna create a new software and track type shit. And once again, we'll bring in Logic's Alchemy. We'll go back to the search bar type shit because it's easy. Once again, here we're gonna type in attack sweep as that is the preset we want. Here it is right here. And let's draw in that pattern. I'm just going to duplicate that over. Now let's put that in a space type shit. So we're going to go over to Logic's Chroma Verb once again. Now let's bring in the brass type shit. Go back to our library browser. We're gonna go to orchestral, we'll go to brass. We'll go to the full brass preset. Let's draw in that pattern. It's literally just one note. Let's throw that over two octaves. Let's just bring in some reverb. We'll go to Logic's Chroma Verb once again. All right, now we gotta get into the reverse drums part of the track right before we get into what I think is the Mike Dean section. So what we're gonna do here is, let's just duplicate this over. And I'm going to duplicate uh, it's not duplicate, bounce down the drums. So we're gonna select all of my drum regions here. We're gonna go Control-B on my keyboard, bounce that in place, and we're gonna bring that back. And I think it only happens halfway. I don't remember exactly. So let's just take that out. Let's take this out for now. And let's just reverse this. So it's gonna go from this. I think it ends on that snare. 
and then it goes into what I think is the Mike Dean produced part of the track. So we're gonna start kicking things off for this part with the bass. So I'm gonna bring in the one shot from the We Don't Trust You kit. All right, so what we're gonna do is drag that into a quick sampler optimized. Let's duplicate that over. For this section, we're gonna copy this over. And then it goes down from here as well. All right, so what we're gonna do here is just pull up the drive a little bit, make it a little bit fatter, and change the polyphony over to mono. I wanna make the attack a little bit softer. All right, next we're gonna bring in another bass, but this bass is gonna be really growly and sort of be automated throughout the pattern. So create a new software and spin track. We're gonna go over to instrument, we'll go to retro synth, we'll go bring in a bass preset, synth bass off my screen, and I'm gonna bring in the big tooth bass preset. And let's just draw in that pattern and then get to some of the editing. kind of goes up like that. All right, now let's get the sound to sound a whole lot better. We're gonna open up Logic's Retro Synth. We're just gonna shape the EQ here a bit. Just gonna open it up there a bit. Add in some resonance. Because we're feeding it into the envelope filter, we're gonna bring up the sustain here just to make it a little bit more rattly. And then we gotta make it more rattly type shit by bringing up the sustain on our amp envelope as well. I don't wanna sustain the sound the entire time because that will be very boring. So what we're gonna do is open up an EQ here and we're gonna automate the cutoff here. So sorry, the high cut here. So what we're gonna do is this. So let's just turn on our out point here and we're just gonna lower this up. Start off with it really low. All right, but I'm gonna make a mess of it because I don't actually know where all the stuff goes. So what I'm gonna do here is just do it manually by going over to our automation, hitting A on our keyboard, going to the high frequency here. And it doesn't need to be so choppy like that. We're gonna clean that up right now. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this here, just gonna clean up all of that. And by the third note, I pretty much wanna be fully open. And then we wanna come down to something like that. And we wanna just bring this down a little bit here. And then we're gonna open it up back up for the first note over here and then bring it down. So it's gonna be something like this. Now let's bring in the parts where makes this section huge. We're gonna create a new software instrument track. I'm gonna to go to Logic's Alchemy. 
and we are going to go over to vocals and we're going to go bring in a choir vocal here a male one the choir male o preset and let's draw in those chords So that's pretty much going to go for a little bit there. And that's going to make our last chord right here. It's going to be this long sustained chord here. All right, so together it sounds like this. Don't worry, we're gonna make it even bigger. We're gonna create a new software instrument track and we're gonna bring in another choir. We're gonna bring in our library browser. We're gonna to go to orchestral. We're gonna go over to choir. We're gonna to go to mixed choir and we're gonna copy down the same pattern here. So it's gonna sound like this. And we're just gonna have a sustained C happening at every single two bars here. Except we're going to take out a lot of the top end here because we really want just like the midsection of this choir. All right, so we get sort of that midsection there. And then we're going to bring in some textures to really make this full. So we're going to go ahead and create a new software instrument track type shit. And uh, for this, we're going to go over to our library browser. We're going to go to synthesizer, but go to soundscape. And we're going to go over to the Arctic Breeze preset. We're going to copy down the same pattern, and it sounds like this. Let's move the performance. got to emphasize that last little sort of build up thing into the next section. We're going to copy over the same uh, Big Tooth Bass preset here. So we're bringing in Logic's Retro Synth. We'll go over to, let's go over to Synth Bass and we'll bring in the Big Tooth Bass preset. So it's going to go something like this. Logic's Retro Synth. I'm just gonna adjust the filter envelope and the amp envelope as well. Except I want this to sound more narrow, so we're gonna pull in an EQ type shit. Let's take out some of the low end here. Then we'll go to our high cut and we're just gonna add in some resonance. And then for the arrangement sake, we're gonna bring back this lead synth over here. And this is just gonna be looping itself like this, just a couple of times here. Next, let's get to the second part of this section. We're gonna copy over all of this stuff here. And uh, we're only not going to include this lead over here. We're gonna create a new software instrument track and we're gonna bring in that ARP. So we're gonna bring in Logic's retro synth type shit. We're gonna bring in another preset. We're gonna go over to synth leads and we'll bring in the super lead preset. We're gonna copy over the same choir pattern from here. And it sounds like this. And 
except of course we want this arpeggiated. So in Logic, we can go over to our MIDI effects. We'll go to arpeggiator. And arpeggiate just like that. And then we're just gonna bring in some chorus here just to soften it up. We'll bring in some reverb just to make that a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna bring an EQ just to make it not so in your face. needs to be a whole lot bigger. So we're gonna bring in yet another choir. We'll go over to our library browser. We're gonna go once again to orchestral, choir, and we'll bring in the male chamber choir preset. And what we're gonna do here is just copy over the same choir pattern. We'll make it nice and low so it fills out the low end. We got to bring in this sub eight away thing that happens but what we're gonna do here is just stretch out these notes here uh, let's bring it out I think it was another like six bars or something and we got to just stretch this out maybe it's easier if I just work like this that should stretch them all out except this one for some reason Actually, I think that doesn't stay in there. And now let's bring in that 808. We'll go over to a preset. I'm gonna go over to a, uh, let's go over to the mogul presets here. I'm gonna go to expansion two. And I'm gonna go over to the strip that down Liam Payne 808. And we're gonna draw it in right over here. duplicates itself. into the other section type shit. So what I'm gonna do right now is just listen to the track, arrange it properly, mix it properly. When we come back, we'll take a listen to the full remake.
there is the remake to Metro Boomin Future and Playboy Cardi's type shit. For your logic users out there, I'm going to save this entire session for you type shit. And plus, it has a downloadable link below this video. If you don't use logic, I got your back as well type shit. I'm going to go ahead and save the MIDI stems, audio stems, and of course, include the drum kit that you heard in this remake type shit. You can find that playback down below the like button as well. If you do a question on this or just want to chat or have any suggestions for future videos, let me know down below. Let's talk. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Later. Peace.